young kids that have cancer. So I like to help every single year. I'm loading some of the stuff for my car too. Today we're here to raise money for Cookie Street Kids Cancer for pediatric cancer research. Each year, our goal is to raise enough money to fund a research, the trial. Estimated about $100,000. Everything is donation. Our money is getting matched by OXO and Bank of America, so give, give, give. I give because they're children. I fight because I don't want anyone else to lose their kids. It was February 2007. And my son, Adam, had a lump on the side of his head. And the doctors had told us it was just a calcified hematoma from falling. So I finally took him to a different doctor. And he was diagnosed with stage 4 neuroblastoma. He had a tumor here, a tumor we didn't know up here, and then the main tumor in his adrenal area in his belly. He had just turned two. We did five rounds of chemo and then surgery. We did a stem cell transplant, radiation, antibodies. The treatment that he received, it's debilitating. It's heartbreaking. And it's as bad as you'd imagine it to be. And then when he was five years old, he relapsed. That one was a little bit harder to take. Chance of survival for a relapsed neurobastoma was pretty much next to nothing. The options are out there waiting. There's plenty of research being done, but it's not being funded. That's why we raise the money. That's why we do what we do for all those parents and all those kids just waiting for those trials because they feel that might be their magic button and it might be. This check is from Julie Sparks and Amy Christenberry for $124,000. This represents an amazing amount of love and hard work. Every time I open an envelope, it leaves me speechless. $3,000. This is from the Eastover Elementary. Put a lid on cancer event. This one raised $1,000, $1,457. 10 years ago, when my husband and I founded Cookies for Kids Cancer, it was beyond my wildest comprehension that we would have been receiving checks from all 50 states and from 16 countries around the world. Our son Liam was two and a half years old when he was diagnosed with stage four cancer. Liam isn't here today. The thing that's the hardest is the missed hugs and the missed kisses and the missed opportunity to see him grow up. But it's because of him that we keep moving forward. These checks will go directly towards funding pediatric cancer research grants that are approved by our medical advisory board. The mission statement of Cookies for Kids Cancer is to fund research for new, less toxic therapies for children who are battling cancer. All right, so we're gonna go by institution. Our medical advisory board is truly an all-star team of doctors. We have a real challenge because there are a lot of outstanding applications. They review all of the grant requests and proposals, and they decide where the money should go. 
In the last 10 years, Cookies for Kids Cancer has awarded nearly $15 million in research grants. Of those 100 research grants that we have awarded for about 75 projects, nearly half of those are now treatments that children are receiving today. And this check that Julie and Amy sent will then be applied for one of those grants. One of our 2016 grants went to Dr. Mosse at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. When I received the grant from Cookies for Kids Cancer, I was elated. Ultimately, we do all this work in the lab, but the key and most important experiment is the one that happens in the child. Adam relapsed in March of 2010. At the time, his risk of suffering another relapse and ultimately dying from neuroblastoma was 100%. And so we enrolled him on a trial of a drug that we had available here. And he stayed on that medicine for three years. Great to see you. Good to see you too. You're so tall. <laughs> That's so exciting. That's amazing. Adam is alive. Um, I want more kids to be where he's at in his life. How school? Uh, great. Changing the world as always. I am happy I'm still here, so I can help others. If we're not raising money for innovation and new science that we can bring to the clinic, then there aren't going to be children like Adam, and there wouldn't be Adam here. It's up to all of us to create more options, more hope, more children like Adam. But we need your help. Be a good cookie.